Hey guys, this week was extremely busy in my shop and so I'm not gonna do a full build video uh, for this week. Instead, I'm gonna talk about this bench you see behind me. It's a walnut live edge bench uh, with spindles, joinery, uh, CNC work, and I'm just gonna do a deep dive into what it took to build, why I enjoy it so much, um, and just really show you my work up close, what I'm passionate about, you may see some things that furniture makers notice and no one else will ever notice, uh, but that's part of what I enjoy about what I do. And so I hope you enjoy this video. Let's take a look. One of the first things you're gonna notice about this bench is that it's based off of a classic shaker bench. Um, I have adapted that and used a live edge slab that I had and thought that that would be a really fun addition to keep it as natural and clean as possible to change some of the rusticness that a live edge slab can have, I actually took and beveled all the way around the profile. Taking details like this and this backrest with the profiled edges come from Thomas Moser Furniture one of my favorite makers that I enjoy seeing his work. Um, it's on a commercial scale, but it's something that inspires me. All of the dimensions and angles I actually took from a classic bench by Christian Bexfort. Um, he is an amazing craftsman doing shaker furniture. All of these spindles that you see, I turned individually. Mortise and tenon joinery is one of my favorite things. This particular one goes all the way through the piece and is wedged for a tight fit. One of my favorite pieces is this scooped seat. The ruler is helping to illustrate the curve. All of that was actually accomplished on my CNC machine. I programmed this entire thing to have a slight arc in the front, all of the bevels, a flat on the back so that the spindles had a good place to register against. And then the entire seat has that scooped from edge to edge and end to end. One of my favorite things about this piece is that it is made out of air dried walnut. The color variation is absolutely incredible. The splayed legs in the back all are at an angle that supports the body's natural movement, and I love that. As I mentioned, I turned all the spindles on the lathe. Um, I also turned all the legs to have a tapered appearance. As I said, the tenons on the tapered legs go through the entire piece, all the way to the top, and then are wedged. see the under bevel here on the natural edge. One of my favorite things about this piece is the finish. This is actually done with Osmo wood wax finish. It's extra thin. It penetrates the wood super deeply. The amber tone is great for most woods and it shows every bit of the grain. It's not a film forming finish. So the feel of it is incredible. It doesn't look cheap. It's one of the best parts. Because this is a floor finish, it's extremely durable. And you can see the sheen there at the bottom of the can. A nice satin sheen. One of the most challenging parts of the build was actually getting all of the spindles to go into place. This was a two person job and we literally fought hard to get every one of these in all at the same time and glued and cleaned up. All the details on this piece make it one of my favorites. The angles, all the overhangs, the hand turned spindles, the finish, the live edge, walnut. It's going to be a great piece for someone's home. 
This walnut bench is one of my favorite pieces from the past year. Um, I absolutely love so much about it. Uh, all the angles, all the lines that you see, the curved portions of the bench, the color contrast between the live edge sapwood and the heartwood that's beautiful and air dried walnut, the wedged mortise and tenons that have the maple wedges give it contrast, the exposed joinery, the small delicate little spindles that all had to be precisely fit into the base and the backrest, um, that all actually allows for you to be able to lean back on this thing and it flexes. So because there are so many of them, it actually supports your back, but flexes with the natural body movement. So it is fun to see that in this piece. All the lines are crisp and clean, but I included the live edge portion that is a natural flow. And so that to me are things that add up to make this one of my favorite pieces, the fit, the finish, the feel of the wood with that Osmo. Those are all things that I think make this an incredibly unique bench. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my work up close and in person um, as much as you possibly can online. So. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. I hope you subscribe and keep following along with what I do. Every week I'm gonna post something. So maybe next week uh, we'll get a, a build video done. But for now, I'm showing you finished work. Let's uh, see what comes next. Talk to you later, bye.